our heart, God looks at the heart. Much or most of our confusion today comes from failure to recognize the importance of the heart. I repeat today, much of our confusion today, we find ourselves, people are confused. People are confused, people are confused. They don't know what is this. Confusion, confusion. Much of our failure, our confusion, I mean, comes from failure to recognize how important the heart is. We shall go to that book of First Samuel 16 verse 7 But the Lord said to Samuel Do not consider his appearance or his height for I have rejected him The Lord does not look at the things people look at People look at outward appearance but the Lord looks at the heart are you listening to that? The Lord said, do not look at his, his color, his height, his voice, his smoothness of tongue. I have rejected him. The Lord does not look the way men look. Men look on outward appearance to make judgment. But the Lord told someone that me, I look at the heart. While you people are looking at outward appearance to make judgment. What impressed God about David was not his height, his color, his position in society. What impressed God about David was his heart. Because a good heart brings a good character. who commit sin they sin because Satan has a foothold in their heart the Bible tells us that the management of our heart and its thoughts is fundamental to our faith and holy living this means if you don't get hold of your heart, something else will and begin to control it. What makes a successful business? It's good management. Any business you start, if you manage it well, the business becomes successful. What makes a successful Christian being successful when it comes to things of the spirit it is our heart when you manage your heart you become a successful Christian the management of our heart and its thoughts is fundamental I mean it is important to our faith and our holy living if you want to overcome in life you must take God's word to heart and make it part of you. When God's word is planted in our heart, that is when it becomes health to all flesh. When God's word is planted in the heart, that is when it becomes a light to our path. When it is planted in the heart, that is when it becomes a key to loose and to bind. A key to open doors and to close them. God's word in the midst of our heart gives us authority in heaven. Our heart is the prayer room. Our prayer will remain ineffective as long as it does not come from a pure heart. Our heart is the temple of God. 
Our heart is the altar. It must be in the attitude of prayer at all times. This means if you are a Christian, a true Christian, when you move like this in the midst of people, in your heart, your heart must be saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Another time again, you have dropped, thank you, Jesus. You are now singing praise and worship. Another time you have dropped praise and worship, you are now saying, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Our heart, God looks at the heart. Look what Peter said to Ananias in that Acts 5 verse 3. He said, Ananias, why have you allowed Satan to fill your heart that you lie? It means people that lie, Satan fills them before they lie. Peter said again in Acts chapter 8, verse 21, to Simon, who was trying to buy the gift. He saw them healing people, healing people. He said, ah, can they give me this gift how much? After he saw them some days, he want to make money through this ministration. Peter said to Simon, your heart is not right. You have no share in this ministry. Because your heart is not what? Our heart. God looks at the heart. If you want to see vision, to dream, you see them with your heart. Matthew 5 verse 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. You keep on fasting, you fast. You are wasting time. Look at your heart. Proverbs 23, he says, my son, give me your heart. Proverbs 4.23 says, guard your heart, protect your heart. Our heart, tell never say our heart. God looks at the heart. God looks at the heart. 